Lord. Good morning and welcome to our daily strength today with our rhapsody of realities. I pray for you that after this day, indeed, your confidence in the word of God will be multiplied in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants us to be doers of the word. Men and women that indeed rely on to, on to, you know, rely on the teachings of the word of God so we can apply it in our lives and see that great result in our lives. Hallelujah. See that, see the, see the great results in our lives. Yes, that's what the Bible says in Joshua 1 verse 8. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. What's the book of the law? The word of God. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. So we are called to keep the word of God in our heart, closest as, as possible, on our, on, on our lips. Meditate on it means that what? It's always in your heart. You have it always, always in your mind as well, right? So that we can get to what? Carefully do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. So your prosperity, your prosperity and success is dependent on what? The word of God in your life. How much you can trust the word of God? How much you can rely on the word of God? That, that's where your that's that's your source of prosperity. So the word of God is your source of prosperity as a child of God. Hallelujah. Remember, you are born of the word of God, the day you got born again, right? So being born of the word of God tells you that yes, your very source is from the word of God. Glory be to God. And the word of God is who? God. Jesus is God, right? So the word of God is God. So God is your source. Hallelujah. God is your source. When, when God went to make and um, fish, he called them out from the waters, right? When God went to make the, 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 the plantations, he called them out from the ground. When God went to make you and I, he called you and us, said, let us make man our own image and likeness. That means we came from God. You see that? So God's our very source and we must rely on him by his word so that we can manifest his, his glory on this earth and beyond in Jesus' name. Now, our topic for today's rhapsody says, put your confidence in the word. Put your confidence in the word. That means the first thing you must understand here is that your confidence should not be in, the, in a man. Never you put your confidence, confidence in man. There are, men that, there are people that put their confidence in men. So put your confidence in the word of God. Glory be to God. Now, looking at the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. Hebrews eleven seven 7 says, By faith... Noah, being warned of God of things not see, not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. So it was by faith that what happened that Noah was able to achieve what he did. Glory be to God. And you and I have called to have faith in God's word, right? So we must also act just the way Noah acted on the word of God that was given to him. Remember at that time, that was the word of God that was given to you to go ahead and build the ark. So you and I have received God's word today. Now we have received the word of God and we, are, we learn the word of God on a daily basis through the scriptures and by the spirit of God that is in us. So that we can get to know what the Lord is saying for every moment, for every, for every, every situation, for everything we are involved in this life with. So that we can keep what? Manifesting God's glory every day. Glory be to God. And it says, and it says, by the wish he condemned the word. By the wish he condemned the word. Then remember that there are tongues that are risen against you. Yes, devil and his cause are against you. But by the time you put the word of God in practice, you condemn their wicked acts. Hallelujah. And he said, by which he condemned the word and became. So you are going to become so prosperous in my Lord Jesus' name. You're going to walk in great prosperity, great success. And became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. So you are going to become a what? A heir of what? Righteousness, which is by faith. That is who you are. We are joined here with Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now the Bible tells us how the Lord told Noah to build an ark because he was about to destroy the earth with a great flood. You see that? So that was a warning that was given to Noah. Now it took a man who have not seen that to go out and do what the Lord has said. That's why he says it's by faith. Faith means that what substance of things hope for. That means he had the substance in his heart that this thing indeed that the Lord has said it. Because the Lord has said it, that's the substance he can hope for. That this thing is going to happen, right? And he took those steps of faith, right? So that means what has the Lord said to you in his word? That means before the Lord have said it, that means what? It is so. It is so. Glory be to God. So you must hold on to the word of God and run with it. That's why he said in that earlier um, scripture we read, Hebrews 11, it says... By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, 
So make it, not, make it clear to us that it was, 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 was by faith because it wasn't seen as yet. It's not like Noah had seen the rain fall before. No. According to um, records, it, rain never fell until the time that Noah entered the ark. That means the natural rain that we and I are having this day was never known at, at the time of, um, during the days of Noah, according to the um, records. Right? So imagine that they never saw anything that is called rain. But Noah by faith believed in what the Lord has said. So what has the Lord said to you? It may not, it may not look, may look, look normal to you. It may not look like, look like what everybody can understand. Right? Even you may not even understand it. But you must run by faith. Say, I run by faith. You must run by faith. We must run by faith. You may not understand what the Lord has said to you. But you must run by faith. Glory be to God. Yes. Glory be to God. All the people and animals on the earth, drawn and all and whole cities, we are submerged in the flood. Yet the very flood of judgment that came to destroy the ungodly bore Noah's ark up. It bore up the righteous. Glory be to God. So the same water, the same flood that was judging the unrighteous was what was increasing God's, God's children. And that will be your portion in my Lord Jesus' name. In your city, in your country, they may say that there's inflation, there may be maybe one or two things out there, but you are not going to be victims. We're going to be what? Victors over them all. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The same flood that destroyed people, cities, submerged cities, and destroyed the people. Well, that same, same flood that, that, was, that, was, that allowed Noah's heart to go up. As the floods of inflation, disaster, and violence beat on the world in these latter days, Refuse to fret or fear. Refuse to fret or fear. That means you must put your mind on the word of God. That is the only way you can what, stay above the, the inflation of this world. Stay above the, the wickedness, the, the, the worldly system. Put, on, put your mind on the word of God. Put your mind upon the word of God. Be a, be, be, have confidence in God's word. Have confidence in the word of God. Hallelujah. That's why the book of Jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8 Jeremiah 17, 78 says, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord. Don't look at your government. Don't be trusting your government. Government is run by human beings. Don't think that government is one, one entity on its own that is somewhere. No. You are the government. Hallelujah. So you must put your trust in the Lord your God. Because men are still the ones in that government with the responsibility. Just the way that even in, in church, you and I have the responsibility. Glory be to God. Sometimes men seem to forget that government is full of human beings in there. People are the ones who make decisions. Right? And God is expressed that you and I, who are the believers, are to sit in the place of authority and make the right decisions according to his will. You see that? I will also be taught what? To pray for kings and, 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 and men in the place of what? Authority. So they can make, they can indeed have rule, rule in a quiet way. That means that we no need for bloodshed. Fighting our unnecessary things out there. It can be so quiet and so beautiful. That's how the Lord rules in, 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 in His glory. Hallelujah. Then in the book of Jeremiah 17, 78 says, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. Where is your confidence? Is it in yourself? Or do you trust in your abilities? Oh, I've been to school. I, I can do this. I can do that. Put your confidence in the Lord your God. Yeah, those things you have acquired are good. But that is not what is going to sustain in time of inflation. Hallelujah. That, that, that thing that will sustain you, when you put your confidence in the, in the Lord your God, He will direct your path. He will lead you in the way you should go. He will show you the things to come. That's the way you showed, he, he told um, Noah what to come, right? By giving His word. Noah ran with it and what, and became a success. You, now He will show you what to do concerning the things that you have known and things you are yet to know. And then He will make what? A success out of you in Jesus' name. Amen. They will be like, He says what? Whose confidence is in, the, in Him? They will be like a tree planted by the water that's that sends out its roots by the stem, by the stream. That sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Isn't that powerful? He does not fear when heat comes. Hallelujah. It leaves, it, its leaves are always green. That will be your portion from this door, was in my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. Doesn't matter whatever that hits your city, your country, your nation, you'll be exempted in Jesus' name. Amen. Your leaves will always be green. Your family is always protected. Doesn't matter whatever they have said, yes, you'll be preserved in Jesus' name. Amen. You'll never fall a victim in the hand of the enemy. God will always keep you ahead and keep you, keep you, keep you, keep you ahead of the enemy, right? You'll always be, always be ahead of him. You'll never fall a victim in the hand of the enemy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He does not fear when heat comes. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought, drought or and never fails to bear fruit. That is your portion. That is your portion. Always bearing fruit. Always bearing fruit. Glory be to God. Now, for my rhapsody of realities, what you need to live victoriously is the deposit of God's word in your spirit. That is all we need to live victoriously. So that we will not have to fear when these things come. Why? We rely on, we have confidence in the word of God. Our trust is in our Lord, our God. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We have refused to look at the, the world and this system, but we always are hurt. Above only and never beneath. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So you must look unto Jesus. Glory be to God. Have God's word yeah. deposited in your spirit. That is how you can stay victorious all the time. You need to live victoriously. To, for, for you to live victoriously, you need to what, deposit God's word in your spirit. You've got to know and have the word in you. With the word in you, your successes are short, no matter what happens around you. This is why we have privilege to learn do our daily strength today with our rhapsody of realities. So on daily basis, we can do what? Inundate ourselves with the, with the word of God. We can get the word of God in our spirit. So that every day we, we, are, we, are, we are renewed in our strength. Hallelujah. We can get into the, into the work, into the, into the day's activities and become a success in everything that we do. That's the will of God for you and I. And we are actualizing that will in my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So get to the word of God. Your success is assured, no matter what happens around you. Colossians 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. So that means get, keep getting the word of God in your spirit. Don't say, oh, I've studied the word of God. I finished the Bible last year. No. Let the word of God dwell in all wisdom. That means there's wisdom for every area in your life. God knows how to speak to you by, by his word. Concerning the things you are facing right now. Just the way the, the activities of this life have, have not been, you don't know what's going to happen in the next 30 minutes. Right? But you just have to live into it. Right? That's how God is going to lead you by his word and by his spirit. For Christ is in us. The Spirit of God is in us. He directs our path. He leads us into all things. Glory be to God. Maro Sharadiba. Hallelujah. That's it. Inundate your spirit with the word, and you will stay afloat like the ark of Noah. And the circumstances responsible for sinking businesses, careers, and finances will be will be for your promotion. And that is our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever the enemy has meant to destroy us will promote us in Jesus' name. Amen. All the wickedness of the enemy to, to, to sink us will bring forth our promotion in Jesus' name. Amen. We go higher and higher only in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The flaws of economic and natural disasters in, in, in the world aren't against you. Say they're not against me. They're not against me. Hallelujah. Amen. God has ordained your promotion and prosperity. God has ordained your promotion and your promotion and prosperity. Say, so God has ordained my promotion and prosperity. God has ordained my promotion and prosperity. Glory be to God. He already planned that you will be a success irrespective of what's going on around you. Remember Isaac. He reaped a hundredfold harvest even when there was famine. So it is not a new thing. This, the men have been living in this aspect already. You can live in that aspect. Hallelujah. When there is famine, you are also soaring higher. Keep soaring higher, unstoppable, unshakable. In this new mode I've entered, yes, you keep soaring higher and higher, my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. From glory to glory, the story, my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. Upward and forward only. Hallelujah. Amen. Upward and forward only. You are ordained to prosper in a time of inflation. This is your life as a Christian. Let your confidence rest, rest only in how much of the word of Christ you have in you and, by, and you live by. So have that consciousness. Let that build your confidence. I have the word of God concerning this situation. I have the word of God in me. So hunger for more of God's word in you. The more of, the God, of God's wisdom you have in you. You can apply it in your life. You can have what? In all wisdom. Let the word of God dwell in you in, in, in richly in all wisdom. So keep digging to the word of God. Have personal Bible study time. Take, take, take it seriously. Hallelujah. Take it seriously. Just the way you take, take your eating of food seriously. Eat the word of God into your spirit as well, seriously. Some people can eat three times in a day, but they are barely have studied the word of God in a day. Why not? Just the same way you can eat three times in a day. At least dedicate 30 minutes or, or more to study God's word in a day. And you'll never regret it. Hallelujah. Play messages. Get to play messages from the men of God. Play daily strength today with the rest of your realities. God's word is coming to your spirit and being what? And what? Preparing you for whatever you are called to do on this earth. So that you always stay above and never beneath. Hallelujah. For that's what God desires for you and I. 
This is your life as a Christian. Let your confidence rest only on the word of God you have in you and live by, not in how much money you have in your bank account. As you allow the world to dominate you, it will give you the mentality of a victor such that no matter what happens, you will stay above only. Say, I stay above only. I stay above only. And that will be your portion for, uh, for you and your family members in my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. None of you shall be beneath in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything you are involved with, I declare and I declare. May they move forward now in my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever you are involved with right now, your businesses, I, I command it so by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Wisdom be given to you concerning the things you are involved with right now. Amen. That wisdom of the God that will come to you right now will multiply the works, the, 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 they will multiply that which God has put in your hands. That you will see it grow rapidly and speedily in Jesus' name. I call it forth by the power of the Holy Ghost. I call it forth by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the help that you need. Receive the help of men. Receive the help of angels. Receive the help that you need in my Lord Jesus' name. For the Lord has granted it so in my Lord Jesus' name. You are graciously helped. Indeed, they will take you to that place you are going to with ease in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're not born again, just go ahead and say this words with me so you can get born again. It's a joy to be born again. For how can a man be led by the Spirit of God unless he's been born again? You can't be in the jurisdiction of the enemy and expect to be led by the Spirit of God. But God in his mercy has always helped you. Now it's time for you to enjoy that sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit. With that oneness with the Holy Spirit, he will teach you God's word that will direct your path. He will teach you and talk to you when, on what direction to go. He will hear him tell you, go in this direction and you go in that direction. Hallelujah. He will help you walk in the wisdom. He will remind, it, he will remind you all things that God is going to teach you by his word. The Spirit of God, I will remind you, those of us have discussed this day, if the time comes next week and something is happening, God, the Holy Spirit of God will remind you of what we have, we, have, we have had this day. So you have to get the Spirit of God inside of you by getting, by getting to, to accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. By accepting Jesus, you're going to baptize with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So that now you can walk in, the, in this glory. Glory be to God. For Christ in us the hope of glory. God has said this verse with me. He said, Dear Lord Jesus, I accept your finished work into my life this day. I declare you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for baptizing with your Holy Spirit. I'm a child of the living God. I'm born again. I, I, I succeed in the works of my hands. For I'm one with the Lord God Almighty. For I've been born with one, I'm born with, I'm one spirit with the Lord. Spirit with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory forevermore. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now you are set free, my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. I am I, I, I anoint the, the, the covenant you may have had in time past with the kingdom of darkness, and I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything I involved with in your family, receive the wisdom to deal with, with, with the affairs of, of, of family affairs, receive the wisdom to, for, for business affairs, whatever you're involved with right now. I declare God's wisdom upon you, my Lord Jesus' name. Strength to run and not to worry is given to you right now. In my Lord Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Take this confession with me. Say the entrance of God's word, the entrance of God's word floods my heart, floods my heart with, light with light and brings brilliance and, brings brilliant and beauty into my life. I do not fret over the hardship, inflation, and evil in today's world. For they are not set against me. I have ascended above the economics of this world. I'm in my place of inheritance in Christ Jesus, where I prosper continuously. Continually. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah is a heavenly language. He's a heavenly. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah means hallelujah. It means what? 
Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. It's a song of victory. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. means victory. Hallelujah. Now you have received victory concerning the affairs of this life. You have received victory over the inflation of, uh, that is going on in, around you. You have received victory. Yes, just we have said it. Hallelujah is a heavenly language. That means the, 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 the sound of victory. You will sound your sound of victory everywhere you go in Jesus' name. In your health, receive victory over that sickness. Receive victory over that organ failure. Receive victory over that disease. I declare that the hands of the enemy is cut off from you now, my Lord Jesus' name. Receive victory over that demon and his cause in Jesus' name. Receive that victory over that wickedness of the enemy now, Lord Jesus' name. The curse that the enemy sent against you, receive victory now, my Lord Jesus' name. You will sing the song of hallelujah in Jesus' name. You are set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Move forward in Jesus' name. Prosper by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are succeeding everywhere you go. From this day, prosperity on all sides is given to you. You will have peace on, 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 on every side. For God will indeed fill you with all wisdom. Give you his wisdom in through his word that will cause you to walk excellently in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your children are blessed in your name. Thank you, Lord, for their prosper and everything that they do. Hallowed be the name, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The grace, the special grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abounds with us now and forevermore. Amen. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom.